This episode of The Totally Rad Show is brought to you by Audible. Coming up, Bullet Time is back in this sequel to a popular franchise, Max Payne 3. Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Totally Rad Show. We've got a great week set up for you. Today, we are talking about the much-anticipated and already released, Max Payne 3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and tomorrow we are revisiting Diablo 3, this time in nightmare mode. Yes, it is a nightmare. Then on Wednesday, we have a brand new game that I think we and you guys at home are going to enjoy called Rad Rebus. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Haven't played it yet. And no. We will uh, Thursday, we are uh, taking a look at one of the uh, uh, Comic-Con movies from last year that was piqued our interest, Snow White and the Huntsman. And then Friday explains this awesome background you see behind this because mm. we're going to be talking about the new Tron animated series on Disney, or from Disney, Tron Uprising. Correct. And Amendo. that's us as Trons. Yes, from Will Noble, our Uprising our old buddy, friend. GM Will. And if you look closely, zoom in somehow. <laughs> TRS on our, on our chests. Yes. Very nice. Awesome background. Yes, it's right there. It's up over there. Sorry. Anyway, uh, you can see it later. He was pointing if at our you feet. would like to have your amazing background shown on the show, feel free to send them fans at totallyradshow.com. We Let's love get getting into in those. It. Back in 2001 and 2003, Max Payne 1 and 2 were released by Remedy Entertainment. That's been a long time. Oh, yeah. Now, a couple weeks ago now, Max Payne 3 was finally released. The, the original two Max Paynes were games dripping with style, uh, graphic novel, aesthetic, very noir -y tale, set in New York with a gritty cop whose wife and daughter get murdered and he is on a revenge tear uh, against the mob. And as I said, it has this graphic novel presentation. Uh, these were games that were huge in the, uh, in the years that came out. I loved them. They yeah. had bullet time, and it was all right around the, when The Matrix it came out, and that was big. And it was a long time to be dormant for this franchise, and Remedy no longer making the game. Now it has fallen to Rockstar. Max Payne 3 comes out, still dripping with style, but a very different kind of style. It's been Rockstarified uh, in a lot of ways, and now we have a Max Payne who has gone through all these horrible things. He's an alcoholic. He's at the end of his rope. He's kind of working as a gun for hire bodyguard type. It's got a very uh, cinematic rock star esque um, uh, presentation. And they use the same engine that they've used for Red Dead Redemption, Grand Theft Auto 4. But here we have a pure shooter done with these open, usually open world engines. Dan, I know you're a fan of rock star games. I know you're a fan of cinematic stuff of all flavors and varieties. Uh, tell me what you think of Max Payne 3. Um, I, uh, I, so I never played, I remember I never played the original. Oh. Um, and I actually just played it recently on my um, iOS device and, and was in, enjoying it. And I totally understand um, why it got the reception that it did. I initially never played it because I fell in love with the Enter the Matrix game that also had <laughs> wow. the bullet time mm -hmm. thing, which I hate the There was, there was a lot time. of games at that time that was kind of like... It was all in vogue, yeah. and I think it's awesome, and I don't, I don't think it ever needed to go away because it, it really is fun. It doesn't... It really is just a fun mechanic I could play, play with in a lot of games. Well, it's interesting because but, Red Dead Redemption had that too. It was not nearly as prominent here, but in the same engine, Doing it, I don't remember. Uh, you love that game, I know, yeah. but I don't remember if you love the shooting because Rockstar notoriously like not shooting. so good at the shooting. I think I did like the shoot. I mean, I was yeah, but um, but but I I was disappointed in Max Payne Three. Um, I was very excited to play it, and uh, I thought the graphics the graphics are great. Uh, the voice acting, Max Max, the guy who voices Max Payne is is gives a phenomenal performance. I don't a little miscast because to me he sounds like young Ray Liotta. Hmm. Um, and I, I think he should have sounded someone. like, um, but I think he should have sounded he's the like the same guy that did the first two. Games. I think it is, yeah. But I think he should have sounded like 
old Bruce Willis. That's, I mean, that's what he looks like. He should sound like a grizzled, uh, you know, as opposed to like, hey guys, you know. <laughs> I, mean, that, I might not, have missed that. Uh, uh, missed that cutscene. That part was like, hey guys. Hey, hey guys. Hey, what are you doing? I'm just saying he should have sounded like hey, an old grizzled veteran. Hey, anybody got any painkiller? Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> and uh, I loved the settings. I loved the set pieces, but there were no set piece moments. And it really made me think, but you don't play them. Every, every big set piece moment you watch as a in-engine in cinematic. Whereas oh, right. in- boat shootout? Uh, but that was just a boat, yeah, I mean, but, there, but I'm talking about the things that like, the transitioning that, that what we're, it was loading, is transitioning from the next level, would be like running away from the explosion or grabbing on the helicopter, wh whatever it is. And in Uncharted or Call of Duty, but you know, I'm thinking of like the fa favela level in this game. Mm. All the, like fa the favela level in Call of Duty, when you're running from rooftop to rooftop, all the traversal in this game is handled in engine. The only thing you do in this game is shoot people. And you, I mean, all I could do is leap in slow motion and shoot. There was no fun way, dynamic way to engage. There was no differentiation <clears throat> that you get in Call of Duty where now I'm doing this kind of thing, now I'm doing this kind of thing, or in Uncharted, I can go and melee people, I can get, I can go up here. So it, it was odd because <clears throat> this game does something and it attempts to be extremely immersive with the um, sort of photographic effect that is like flash framing in a Tony Scott movie, which I love. Man on Fire, Domino, a lot of people hated those movies because of that aesthetic, and I love them. In this video game, I was infuriated. I found it completely off-putting. I didn't want to look at the What's game. What's different? What's different? <laughs> well, one, I mean, the hours that I'm playing this game versus the one hour and a half, uh, I think it's more emotional. It, it was more tied. It was it was cool in those movies. There was a rhythm to it. This was like every five seconds, I'm getting an epileptic pulse that's <laughs> happening, and it didn't make sense to the game. And it was digital artifact. It wasn't as pretty as a flash frame is in a movie. It was like digital annoying discoloration. Um, so, but as immersive as that was, the it didn't have any of the emerge like the, the moment where he's scaling a building like I shouldn't be able to do that when I do that in an Uncharted game I feel like Nathan Drake I don't feel like Max Payne I like the hero that Max Payne is I feel like I'm Max Payne leaping and shooting I there's only a couple of moments where moments. he'll like be sliding down something or crashing through it and it'll go to a slow motion right. sequence where you can take out all the or there's one where he grabs a thing and he goes shooting up and yeah. he can and what you do in the in those moments <clears throat> is the same thing that you do in the rest of the game yeah. whereas in Uncharted when all of a sudden when that moment happened now I'd have to climb up a train while guys are like, I feel like I'm in that scene. This just takes the same mechanic that you never um, level up in any way. It never matures throughout the game. You do the same mechanic. Now, that's the more exciting version of it. But it's slow motion. It's still the same thing I'm doing anyway outside of that set piece. So, um, Is that any different than Gears of War, for example? Yeah, because Gears of War, I'm like... I, I, the, the scenario where we're in tanks and shit's coming at me when we're in the, um, not tank, but like it's like we're a pirate ship and guys yeah. are coming in. Like the way, I, because the, the combat is so much more dynamic in that game, it's like, oh, mm -hmm. I have to, I feel like this badass soldier and I have to navigate and the guys are flanking. This, uh, just, there was just a quarter of guys and I just hit slow motion and shot. Just hit slow motion. You know what I mean? There was, yeah. the, the, the level design was cool aesthetically, but the level design in terms of gameplay was just the same kind of funnel. Hmm. Alex. Yeah, I had more fun. I'm sort of surprised that Dan didn't like it as much because I one, I really like the aesthetic, um, <clears throat> and and the certainly the, different. Yeah, and the way that that Rockstar tells the story, man, is is really kind of second to none in video games nowadays. Uh, because the game start first off, the game starts and it's maybe about 15 minutes before anything happen anything can happen. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You see a lot of stuff. And I really love the idea that it, you know, it wasn't just using flash frames, but some of the more flash frame transitions to seeing old Max Payne in the beginning, especially, yeah. was very sort of powerful. And I was like, yeah, that's it was like flashbacks within flashbacks within yeah, flashbacks. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this is cool, man. And then the gameplay started, and it was like, right, classic Max Payne, you know, you know, co cover mechanic. Which I don't know if there was a cover mechanic in the original Max Payne. No, um, uh, was it? No, not in the remember, first one. Yeah, I don't but, think uh, either of them. Yeah, but uh, but cover mechanic was was really nice because then it kind of gives you time to breathe because. The one thing that I it was always hard with Mac Pain is, is if you if you sort of went too far into an area, you just died. And then and so when I first started playing this game, because we're I'm used to playing games nowadays where it's sort of more, you're a little bit less squishy. You can kind of just push through a bit. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, and that's not how this game plays. It plays much more like the old Max Payne. And once I sort of locked into that, I was like, oh right, this is a very satisfying thing for me to like 
okay, there are going to be guys. I'm grabbing a wall. I'm getting ready. I see the guys. I'm, I'm slow jumping out, popping, kicking, you know what I mean? Hitting them, running to another wall, stopping. Um, so I really had a good time. And I actually really, I think the immersion for me really worked because you would go from these cutscenes fluidly into now I have a reticle and I'm walking. Yeah. Okay, awesome. You know what I mean? And there were moments, you know, where you, like when you get shot early in the game, you get shot and you're like, walking through and the other guys doing stuff and you're trying mm -hmm. to kind of get to like a first aid station and it felt very immersive to me and I really enjoyed the story. I thought it was a really cool take on Max Payne. And that was very the other dark. Thing. Yeah, but it's also it wasn't just Max Payne two plus one. It literally was we have Max Payne, one and two are there. Where can we go? Yeah, and that re and it went to a really fun place for me. So I, I enjoyed it. A it's lot. interesting to me. He's almost indistinguishable from Frank Castle. The yeah, pu the Punisher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Exactly, yeah. They have a very similar origin story, mm. and at this point, it could have been a Punisher game. Yeah. Um, mm. Unfortunately, I'm much more in the Dan camp, hmm. and and Dan I camp, <laughs> kind of like band camp without the flutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, the, I want that shirt. <laughs> there, I'm in the Dan camp. <laughs> I really kinda like a respect the game. I really uh, am impressed by the game. It has that. Rock star level of detail and attention to detail that is so impressive. And I mean, everything makes sense. The world is populated by so much. St the set design of all of the levels is so amazing. And you walk by, and there's whole scenes happening that are just there on the side, and they're all motion captured, and they're all precise. And and you know, you don't find painkillers unless it makes sense for a painkiller to be where it is. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not willy-nilly anymore. Yeah, it's not a video game world. It's this feels like this living, breathing world that is remarkable to behold. And the engine is stunning. But I didn't have much fun. Hmm. I didn't have much fun playing it. I felt the, the story was is so dark. And that's good, and I respect it. As I said, I, I, I look at it and I go, wow, it's really cool that they had the balls to go there. And it, it's, it, you know, it's, it's really well told in a lot of ways. I just didn't like it. And for me, I agree with you, the shooting is not much fun. I have had very little fun shooting in most Rockstar games, and unfortunately, now that they've put their attention on it, it's still not what I want to be doing. I find myself waiting for animations <clears throat> a lot. I find myself, like, if I do a dive roll or a dive slow motion thing and I land on the ground, and then he, like, does his animation to stand <laughs> up, mm -hmm. and he's being shot the whole time, blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. You know, it's like, and, or uh, I'm, I push the X button to hide behind a thing, and he's doing his animation to get behind some cover, and he's being shot the whole time, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so that, I found that frustrating. Um, he does get shot a lot. He does get shot a lot. Uh, <clears throat> it, it, and there's no... Sorry, there's no on-screen uh, health notification other than the the bot. Like, why I, we why uh, are we regressing? To, I like that. I have to look to the bottom right-hand corner no, to I see like if that. I'm running it. Why, I, why is I, that better I than? I hate cloudy red. I want to know. I, I, I never knew if I'm. Oh crap! I died because, because in this I didn't game you look can get down shot. the bottom right. But it, it 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 handles health in a very different way than most games. You can get one shot at having full health. You can, if you get shot in the head, he's dead. It's mm. not. There's no like. A bullet equals this much damage. Sometimes, if you're getting shot in the arm and stuff, but you can be instantly dead in this game. So it, I, I think that's kind of cool. I just, I found him to be very mm. slow, and the whole, like, there's a whole lot of this game that you don't play. Yeah. You're not oh, yeah. playing. You walk to a door, and there's a cutscene. You walk to the next door, and there's a cutscene. You shoot a little bit, and there's another cut. It, it is, it is really great storytelling, but storytelling that is non-interactive, and it. It's also not a great. I agree with you. The storytelling overshadows the story that it's telling. Right. The, sto oh, the story yeah. is the most mundane, not mundane, but I it's like film it. noir or whatever. I and, like it too. And also, there's nothing special about like I, this the opening sequence happens, and I'm, and it's like, wait, is the whole game about just this one? Like, how does it all relate? It's all very well. It comes together as it goes, but but it is. It's all. I think it's pretty cool. I think yeah. actually. But I, I agree with you that the Tony Scott stuff. Was very fatiguing to me. I just, I it's cool. To happen during yeah. gameplay is fine in the in this cutscenes, but to, literally I'm playing the game. It's, and well, there's but no that's because he's drunk or he just took painkillers. But it's happening throughout. It was in it was in every. It, it hmm. never went. Away. It was never. It wasn't like triggered by now. I thought it was okay. He's injured. Okay, that's why I'm still seeing it. Okay, but no, it's still. It just happens. It's just hmm. happening throughout hmm. the game. Interesting. Well, as I said, I admire it and I think it's an achievement and it's certainly a big, interesting. Effort. I just wish I had more fun playing. I think it. if you're a fan of Max Payne, it's worth a look. Sure. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Just to Definitely. keep up to date. But yeah. yeah. All right. 
All right, everybody, be sure to stick around. We're going to be answering one of your Twitter questions right after this. But first, I want to thank our sponsors, Jeff Kanata. Audible.com is one of my favorite sponsors. Oh, mm -hmm. boy, do I love audiobooks. I genuinely love audiobooks. Mm -hmm. And Audible is the place to get them. Why? Well, they have over 100,000 titles to choose from across all every possible genre, any book you could possibly want. They've got something for you. You can throw it on your iPad, Comedies. iPod, iPad, or MP3 player of any variety. You can listen to a book anywhere, anytime, on the road, while you're doing your chores. I like to do it while I'm running. Mm -hmm. I find it to be very, uh, I, I, I set it up so that I have a book to look forward to, which motivates me to exercise. Ah. It's awesome. Some great audiobooks out there. Uh, we'll give you a free one. Why not try something for, from Bernard Cornwall? I really dig his stuff. Audiblepodcast.com slash totally rad will get you a free audiobook download of your choice. And you can sign up right now. Do it. Audiblepodcast.com slash totally rad. Do, do they have Send comedies? <laughs> they have comedies. Okay, Dan Dan's just comedy. listening to it. Dan's got a, one right in his ear right now. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. it's also a drama. You uh, see how it's really touching him. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah, it's sad. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Send in your backgrounds, fans of totallyratchet.com. Also, uh, you know, get some tissues for Dan. <laughs> Join us tomorrow when we check out the Diablo 3 Nightmare Mode. Today's Twitter question sent in with the hashtag pound TRSQ is sent in from at Keith Krebs. If you could name your own sports franchise, what would you call it? Example, the Endor Ewoks. Oh, that's awesome. When you were kids, I yes. assume because you're American boys, you played soccer. Yeah. I did, yeah. Did you get to name your own soccer team? Mm -mm. No. No? Oh, silver. Really? The silver. silver team. We, got to, we, we were the Jedis. Ah, yeah. Because cool. I'm so surprised because I felt like that was Jedis like Jedis do you soccer. <laughs> well. I just thought that Usually was like a they're like thing. They were for in our area at least they yeah, were like the Riptides or or, like, or they were the fit like the Richboro Phillies like yeah. they were, uh, they the were analogs the and the town and yeah, like, well, like we got to, we sponsored were, by the local pizza place. Yeah, we got the sponsorship yeah. as it was like the the steel mill Jedi's, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. but awesome. we got to pick our own. And then That's one cool. year we were the Oh my god, it, it felt like it was always Star Wars related. <laughs> But I would think. So would you, would it still be Star Wars related? I like the fire ferrets from uh, uh, Fire Ferrets is pretty great. From, yeah. It's just such a great idea. We I can't remember what we were talking about, but oh, space ferrets was what we were gonna call our writing group. We were like, we're the the freaking space ferrets. <laughs> what do you? Do you guys have good ones? If I, if I was if I had to name my own right now, hmm. I would I would be the most formidable team, uh, the Skynet Hunter Killers. That's pretty good. That's a good That's pretty one. Good. Yeah. That is Watch a good out. one. But then everybody would assassinate you thinking you were the start of Skynet. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be no, like, that's the, hundred, the original the Skynet. The killers are those badass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can't F with them. You know, it's it, like the, um, you know, the Miami Heat. Yeah. It's like, heat is like not even a thing. It's just a concept. It's a must. Right. You know, you could be, we could be like the... San Francisco Force. Or the, yeah, like the uh, Los Angeles Rad. That'd be well, kind of cool. Be good. Be good. I'd watch that team. Thank you very much. Ask Keith Krabs. Ask Keith Krabs. <laughs> 